I'm Andrew Hoyle for CNET and this is the LG G2 Mini. It's the smaller, less powerful but mercifully cheaper version of LG's flagship. Now it's a funny old world when a 4.7 inch phone can be called Mini, but it is admittedly smaller than the 5.2 inch G2. It has a narrow bezel around the screen which helps keep the body size down, so it actually has similar dimensions to the 4.5 inch Motorola Moto G. It's reasonably comfortable to use in one hand, although I'm not keen on the scratchy plastic back, which I think makes it feel a bit cheap. Like the G2, it keeps its power and volume buttons on the back rather than on the side. It's a nice idea in theory as they're positioned exactly where your finger sits when you're holding the phone. Even so, I found they took a lot of getting used to and I just don't think volume button position is a problem that needed fixing to begin with. Although it bears the same name as the flagship, the G2 Mini is watered down in nearly every respect. The display has a very disappointing 960 by 540 pixel resolution, which is less than the Moto G's 1280 by 720 screen, and that costs less than half. It at least has decent colors and is fairly bright, but it just doesn't have the clarity around icons or on text that you'd get from a higher resolution panel. The processor is heavily watered down too, with a 1.2 GHz quad-core chip inside, rather than the much more sprightly 2.2 chip in the G2. It handles the everyday tasks fine, but it starts to struggle when it comes to more demanding gaming. Rather than the 13 megapixel camera of the G2, the Mini packs an 8 megapixel camera on the back, which managed to take some good shots, and its HDR mode works well. The battery put in a strong performance on our drain test, and it's removable in case you want to carry a spare. While the G2 Mini does come with a cheaper price than its big brother, it seriously waters down all the specs. If you're looking for a more pocketable phone with the power of a flagship, look towards the superb Sony Xperia Z1 Compact. If you are on a budget though, the Motorola Moto G has a better screen, similar power and the same up to the minute version of Android KitKat and it costs half the price of the G2 Mini. The Moto G doesn't have 4G but that's probably a good compromise considering the price. Safe to say the G2 Mini is not quite the shrunken flagship we hoped it would be. I'm Andrew Hoyle for CNET and this is the LG G2 Mini.